Well, hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm pulling out another one of my grandmother's recipes, and that's salmon patties, or you can call them salmon croquettes. This was one of my grandmother's favorite things. I don't think that I ever opened up her pantry door without seeing a can of salmon in there. And it's also my Gail's favorite, whom I'm bringing this to tonight, along with my Uncle Edwin. They all love these. They both grew up with them. And I'm serving it with biscuits and cheese grits. And I've made my biscuits, got my oven preheated to 500. And those are going in. I'm set my timer. And now let's get started on these salmon patties. Now I'm using canned salmon. It's what my grandmama always used. You can use fresh if you'd like. It is delicious, I'll say. But you know, this is kind of like a, a poor man's crab cakes. And this stuff is so good when fried in a little bit of vegetable oil. Now one thing you are gonna have to do is just dump your salmon right in your bowl, just like I have, and then you're gonna have to pick through it. I take the skin off, and sometimes there's a few bones. This is what was left over from this bowl, and just a few little odds and ends, but I don't want that to end up in my patties. Now, I am gonna take off my rings for this because I'm gonna to have to use my hands I very seldom take off my rings, but for this salmon, I'm definitely going to do that. Now, before I start mixing this together, because it's going to go really fast, I have a skillet over here. I'm using a non-stick skillet. You can also use a cast iron that's really well seasoned. And I am going to put this on a good medium-high heat. Now, I've taken my salmon and poured it right into my bowl, juice and all. And I've also got one egg. Now my grandmama's recipe calls for two eggs, but back then their eggs were usually fresh and very small. When you're using a really large egg like we do these days, just use one. Now I've got just a little bit of flour I'm going to add maybe about two tablespoons and I've got some panko breadcrumbs. The panko is going in these salmon patties, let's say about a quarter of a cup and I've also put some in my bowl and once I make the patties, I'm just gonna put a little extra of this on there because that makes them nice and crispy. Now that is not what my grandmama did, but listen, if she were here and I was making these for her, I have a feeling she'd really, really like it. I've just got some, the tops of a green onion and I'm gonna mince this really finely. I just like a little pop of freshness. Hopefully my Aunt Gail and my Uncle Evelyn will too. I have a feeling that they will. Now both my Aunt Gail and my mom will say, if you're serving salmon patties, you gotta have some grits and you gotta have a biscuit. So I got my grits done over there and you saw that the biscuits are in the oven and these cook up fast. Everything is already done with the exception of the egg. So, right now, let me scoot this over so hopefully you can see it. There we go. Now this is just vegetable oil that has been used before. I love to save my oil. I strain it and I keep it in my mason jar. Oof, come on there. And to me, when I only need just a little bit of oil, there's a little bit more flavor in this. And I'm just gonna coat the bottom of my skillet. Don't want too much oil, but I want enough to where these are gonna fry up real nice. There we go. Now, there's no other way but to just get in there and mash it up. I'm not adding any salt because there's a lot of salt in this salmon. Now, I don't want them too wet. 
because I don't want them to fall apart. So I've added what I added, and then if I need to go back and add a little bit more flour or panko, I can. Mm. You know what? I think this is just about right. Let's see. Looks good. See that? Now I'm just going to put these right in my panko breadcrumbs. I don't have any seasoning in there. It's just straight up plain panko breadcrumbs. You know, it's really good to do this with your hands because if there are any extra bones in there, you want to feel them. I've sat at my grandma's table a few times and picked out bones from the salmon patties. She was an excellent cook, but sometimes you just miss them. And I'm just gonna get a nice little coating, not a thick coating on these patties, but just enough to add a little bit of crispness. Mm. These smell so good. Although my husband would not agree with that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Y'all know my husband, I married a picky eater, but God love him and I love him too. I wouldn't change a thing about him. But these are going right in. I just want to hear a nice little sizzle. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, that looks good. Ooh, my biscuits are just about done. Go ahead and put the rest of these in here. Now, look at this. And I used just about all of my breadcrumbs. These biscuits are looking good. Just put a little bit of butter on them. If you're looking for a good biscuit recipe, check out my biscuit video. These are so simple. I make them two to three times a week for breakfast and for dinner. If I can't think of something that my husband wants to eat for supper, we have breakfast for dinner. I always jokingly say, we have breakfast for dinner so we can sleep late in the morning. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, these are going back in the oven. I'm turning my heat off and I'm just gonna let them sit until my patties are done. Grits look good. Turn this heat up a little bit more. This is just not getting hot enough. So, they are going on this back burner. I'm putting this thing on high. And I'll see you back here in a minute. <laughs> now, let's check it out. Easy way of flipping something. That one didn't do so well. That one will have to be mine. <laughs> there we go. Look at these. Aren't they beautiful? Mm -hmm. Now they're coming along. Turn the heat down. It smells so good. <laughs> Reminds me of my grandmama. I am just see her in her kitchen frying these up. when my grandkids are old, they're going to remember me right here in the kitchen making something delicious for them. Those are such great memories. This one is perfect. Just put that right there. Mm. 
this one is not so perfect. <laughs> and I'm gonna put that right there. And that one is gonna be mine. Go ahead and turn my heat off. Try not to fool with them too much because they are very tender and flaky. Let me turn these rips down. And just get one of these biscuits. I can't take anything over to my aunt and uncle. That one that I wasn't going to try now. Let me just get that good piece of salmon patty. Ooh. Now, I'm doing just a little something different. This is my Alabama white sauce. I made this the other day for some chicken wings that we had for the Super Bowl, and it is delicious on these patties. Oh my goodness, it is so good. Now you don't have to serve anything on them. They are perfectly delicious right by themselves. But I love some Alabama white sauce, so why not? Well, let's see how we did. Mm. It's another one of those things that just takes you right back to days gone by. Something so simple, so delicious, and perfectly Southern. Mmm. Y'all, that's so good with that crispy panko. Mmm. Well, I better start packing before my husband gets home and sees these biscuits because when he does, it's gonna be hard to get any out the door. Oh, he doesn't mind sharing. Mm. Y'all that's good. You're a blessing. Thank you so much for watching. Share this with somebody you love. And I'll see you next time. Bye.